Hi everyone, this is Mrs. V Chen. Welcome to my Form 2 Math, lesson number 13. Today is 10th April 2020. All right, today's topic is about trigonometric ratios and which is about the relationship between the size and angles of a right angled triangle. And then we have three ratios altogether, which are sine ratio, cosine ratio, and tangent ratio. Okay, now here we have a right angled triangle and the longest side, which is C, and then we call that hypotenuse. And now I mark this angle here as theta. So the one next to theta, we call that adjacent side. And this one here, opposite to theta, we call that opposite side. All right, now we come to the formula of sine theta, cosine theta, and tangent theta. All right, so the formula of sine theta, angle is here, theta is here, is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse. So what is the opposite side here? So B is the opposite side, so I have B here, okay? Over hypotenuse, so C is hypotenuse, so therefore I get this relationship for sine theta, which is equal to B over C, all right? So now we come to cosine theta. The formula for cosine theta is adjacent side over hypotenuse. Okay, so A is adjacent, so I have A here, and hypotenuse is C. All right, so therefore I get this relationship for cosine formula, which is equal to A over C in this example, all right? And next, tangent theta. The formula is opposite side, so here is opposite side, so I have B over adjacent side, so I have A here, okay? So this is how we work out the relationship. All right, for what? For trigonometric ratios, and then we have three of them, okay? Okay, next I have another right angle, the triangle actually, which is same as before, all right? But this time I changed the angle to here, and this is phi, all right? So C is always the longer side, and then we call the longer side as hypotenuse. But however, which one is next to this angle, So which is B? So that we call B, which is next to this angle as adjacent side, okay? And A will be opposite side to this angle. So now I have three formulas as before. So sine formula, cosine formula, and tangent formula. So same formula as before. So what is sine phi here, which is opposite side? So, but now what is opposite side to this angle, which is A, all right? Okay, and hypotenuse is C. So therefore I get this sine phi as A over C, all right? So cosine phi, the formula is same as before. Adjacent side, however, the adjacent side to this angle is B. So I have B here, and hypotenuse is C. Okay, and finally for tangent phi, same formula. So opposite side, so which is A here. All right, and adjacent is B. Okay, so therefore I have this relationship. All right, for sine formula, cosine formula, and tangent formula. Okay, now here I have another right angle, the triangle, and make sure that you must remember the formula for sine, cosine, and tangent, okay? And then the next thing is very important, make sure you know how to identify which one is which. So if I have my angle here, which is alpha, so which one is the longest one? So C is the longest one, and then we call that high, hypotenuse, right? And this is the angle alpha, so the one next to this angle, we call that adjacent side. Okay, and therefore A must be the opposite side. So make sure you know how to identify which one is which. Now I can apply the formula for sine alpha, opposite side over hypotenuse. So this is my opposite side, so that is A, and hypotenuse is C. Okay, so cosine alpha adjacent, and this is my adjacent, B is adjacent here, and then C is hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite side, so where is opposite side? A is opposite side, and over B, okay? So this is how we get the trigonometric ratios for sine, cosine, and tangents. 
Okay, now there is another right angle, the triangle, and this time I change the angle here as beta, and this is R, this is P, this is Q, is that right? So which one is the longest one? So R is the longest one. We always call the longest one as hypotenuse. Okay, since the angle is here, the one next to the angle, we call that adjacent side. So Q will be the opposite side, right? Okay, so how do we find sine beta? So same formula, sine is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse. So what is opposite side? So Q is the opposite side, hypotenuse is R. Okay, what about cosine? Cosine is equal to adjacent side, so that is P over hypotenuse, that is R. Okay, how about tangent beta? The formula is opposite side, which one opposite? Q is opposite, adjacent is P. Okay, done, this is it. So it is very important, make sure that you remember the sine formula, cosine formula, tangent formula, and you know how to identify which one is opposite, which one is adjacent, and which one is hypotenuse. Okay, so let's do some exercise. Here is example one and we have a right angle triangle so theta is here so three is right next to theta so we call that this is adjacent side right and this is opposite side okay so how about the longer side which is not given so we have to find the longer side let's say this is hypotenuse and let that be x so since this is a right angle triangle all right then we can use Pythagoras theorem to find x so that we will have x squared is equal to 4 squared plus 3 squared remember that which is p y t h dot theorem okay so therefore what is x x is equal to so 16 plus 9 which is 25 so that i get my x as 5 square root of 25 is 5 so x is equal to 5 and this is also the hypotenuse now we have to find sine, cosine, tangents, and leave the answers in fraction. So what is the answer to this sine theta? Sine theta is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse. So I have 4 over 5 as the answer. And cosine theta, the formula is adjacent, which is 3, over hypotenuse, which is 5. So this is how I get answer. And tangents, the formula is opposite side, which is 4 over adjacent. So this is how we solve the problem in example 1a. Okay, now we come to example 1b, and this is another right angle, the triangle. You are given this, so this is hypotenuse, right? This is 30, however, this is not given. So let's say we let this be x. So how do we find x? We can still use Pythagoras theorem, so that would be a square plus 30 square is equal to 34 square and the reference is pyth dot theorem okay now i change subject to x so to take square roots so 34 square minus 30 square therefore i find my x as this calculator okay which is equal to 34 square minus 30 square and take square roots 16 okay so this is 16 okay however what do we need to find we need to find this sine cosine tangents for alpha and then sine beta cosine beta and tangent beta all right so okay so the first one sine alpha so alpha is here and the formula for sine is opposites over hypotenuse so which one is opposite to alpha so 30 is opposite over hypotenuse which is 34 Okay, so not yet finished because we need to simplify simplify the fraction. So 30 divided by 2, so I have 15, and then 34 divided by 2, so 17. Okay, so this is the answer for sine alpha. And cosine, the formula alpha is here, which is equal to adjacent, so 16, over hypotenuse. Okay, so therefore to simplify, so 16 divided by 2 is 8, so 34 is divided by 2 is 17 okay now we come to tangents the formula is opposites so this is the angle opposite is 30 adjacent is 16 
So therefore, I will have 15 over 8, like that. Okay, now we come to another angle, sine beta. So beta is here, but we don't change the formula, right? So what is sine? Sine is equal to opposite. So 16 is opposite over hypotenuse, 34. Okay, simple, simplify that. So that is 8, that is 17. All right. Okay, and cosine beta. Beta is here. The formula is adjacent, 30 over 34. So simplify. So I get 15, 17 here. And how about tangents? Tangents saying that opposites over adjacent. So 16 over 30 and simplify. So this is 8. This is 15, like that. Okay, so here we have example two, but this time we have to give answers correct to three decimal places. Okay, this is angle alpha, this is angle beta, and then we are given the value for the three sides of the right angle, the triangle. So sine alpha, so alpha is here, and sine formula is equal to opposites, 6.5, over hypotenuse, which is 9.7. So now I use my calculator. So what is sine alpha is 6.5 divided by 9.7, so that the answer will be 0 0.670. So correct to three decimal places. Okay, and cosine alpha, the formula is adjacent, which is 7.2 over hypotenuse. So 7.2 divided by 9.7. Okay, so my answer is 0 0.742, three decimal places. Okay, tangent alpha, alpha is here, the formula is opposite, so that is 6.5 over adjacent. So make sure that you remember all the formulas for sine, cosine, and tangents. So 6.5 divided by 7.2, so the answer is 0 0.903. Okay, so similarly, now we change the angle to beta, so beta is here. Same formula, so sine formula is opposite. So which one is opposite to beta? 7.2. So opposite over hypotenuse, 9.7. So 7.2 divided by 9.7. So the answer is 0 0.742. Okay, cosine beta here, adjacent, 6.5 over hypotenuse, this, so 6.5 over 9.7. Okay, so I have 0 0.670, okay, tangents, beta, beta is here, the formula is opposite, 7.2, over adjacent, 6.5, so 7.2 over 6.5, so I have 1.108, okay, so this is example 2a. Okay, next we come to the final example before we finish today's lesson. Now we need to work out the value of sine 30, cosine 30, and tangent 30. Okay, so here is the right angle, the triangle, and this time this value, this angle is 30, and let's say this is 1, this is 2. However, okay, you don't know this, uh, let this be x. So how do we find x here? We can still use Pythagoras' theorem so that I can have x squared plus 1 squared is equal to 2 squared. Right, so therefore, I change subject to x, so this is 4 minus 1, so therefore I will get roots 3 for x, so this is roots 3, is that right? Okay, so this is sine 30, so sine 30, actually if we use formula for sine, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, so therefore I have 1 here and 2 here. So what is 1 over 2? 1 over 2 is equal to 0 0.5, right? So therefore if I use calculator for sine, sine 30 like that, so you see, I also get 0 0.5. So this is the idea about the value of sine 30, okay? So, and then cosine 30, the cosine formula is same as adjacent, so that is root 3 over hypotenuse. So what is root 3 over hypotenuse? Uh, root 3 over 2, so that I get root 3, and then divided by 2, so I get this 0 0.867. So if you use your calculator directly, you get cosine 30, see, which is exactly the same as this. So this is the idea of sine 30, cosine 30, and then now we come to tangent 30, so opposite 1 over 
adjacent so that if you use your calculator one divided by okay root three so that i get 0 0.577 however if you just use your calculator let's say tangent 30 so the answer is same all right so this is the idea about sine 30 cosine 30 and tangent 30 all right so to do it quickly we simply use calculator to find the value here so sine 30 so which is 0 0.5 done this is it and cosine 30 is 0 0.867 finish tangents 30 0 0.577 okay finish all right okay now b2 2 times sine 28 so use calculator so 2 sine 28 and get answer which is 0 0.939 okay according to instruction here to give answer to three decimal places and 2 cosine 28 get answer which is 1.766 and then last one 2 tangent 28 which is 1.063 okay finish Okay, so how about the value of this? Sine 9 degree minus sine 25 divided by sine 71. So sine 9. Okay, this is important. You get your answer. And then minus sine 32, get answer. And then divided by sine 71. So I need to close the bracket for that. So the answer is negative 0 0.395. Okay, next one, we come to cosine, so that's cosine 9 degree, get answer, minus cosine 32, get your answer, and then divided by, okay, use, you can use bracket here for cosine, cosine 71, so close brackets, and then get your answer in this way, so the answer is 0 0.429, okay, so final one. So tangent 9, get answer, minus tangent 32, get your answer. So divided by, okay, I use brackets, tangent 71, close brackets. So the answer is negative 0 0.161. All right, so that's all about today's lesson, introduction of trigonometric <coughs> ratio. Okay, and make sure that you remember all the formulas for this sine theta cosine theta tangent theta this is very important all right okay so thank you for watching my video i'll see you next time bye bye